Hello, my name is Scott Engert. Welcome to your third Blender 3D tutorial. Let's start by opening up Blender. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add different meshes and how to save the file in Blender. So, first of all, let, let's delete what we have here, this cube. So, on your keyboard, press delete and when it asks you uh, OK for erase selected objects, click on that and that object's now gone. Now, to add a new object or mesh, whatever you want to call it, you go up here and you click Add Mesh and then you choose any of these. Uh, for right now, we'll just use UV Sphere and we'll just leave, leave it at the default and then press OK. And now, as you can see, we have a ball-shaped object. So now, there's another way to do this. So let's just delete what we have now. And press the space bar. And as you can see, it pops up right there on the screen, the Add button. And you can click and go over to that mesh. And we'll just do cylinder now and we'll leave everything default and as you can see the cylinder is right there uh, now how to save the files the files blender can be a little bit weird like this when you go to save the files it's going to save it in its directory so you're going to click save as and I've changed my directory where it's going to save to my desktop but where you're probably going to end up having it be where it's going to start is in your program files inside Blender. But you're just going to want to go all the way to your C drive, find the users, and then whatever your username is, and put it in, save it on your desktop when we're doing these tutorials. So I'm just going to save it as let's see uh... let's put this as cylinder for right now and we're just going to click save as and now we have it saved on our desktop right here we can even add more uh, objects at one time so why don't we do this Press the spacebar, add mesh, and let's put a UV sphere. I'm going to leave it at default, and now, wait, but where's our UV sphere? It's inside of our uh, little cylinder. So we find the arrow, and we drag it up, and now we can see it. That will be all I'll be teaching you in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave comments on how I'm doing. Uh, and even like, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.